What happened a couple of weeks ago was that I dropped my Ca Canon S95 on the lens. It's a very common thing to happen. And um, I was mortified. I really like this little camera. And a repair was going to cost me uh, £150. And I could get a new camera for um, just over £200. So then I found from Hong Kong I could get a whole replacement lens unit for £25. So as I like taking things to bits, that seemed like the obvious thing. So I'm going to have a go. I've never taken the lid off this camera, so I'm a bit terrified. There are four screws, obvious screws, so I guess that's a good place as any to start. Two on each side. The entire process took me a couple of hours. Dismantling anything unfamiliar, there are bound to be lots of dithering and many false moves. The back of the camera now felt loose, but it still wouldn't come off. It also had several tabs which needed prising out. It was really scary judging just how much pressure I dare apply. Yeah, that was good. Yep, I was right. Oh, beautifully made. It wasn't obvious what to do next, but after finding another screw to undo, the front of the camera case started to loosen. The tabs holding this in place were much more obstinate, so it took ages to fiddle it free. Something in there. But that definitely came a bit further. Oh yeah, oh I think that came a bit further. Yes! And we finally have prized that off. Well that's a big step forward. Uh, my lens unit, this is the replacement lens unit, um, doesn't, uh, I mean, it's, that's it, um, goes that way around, I can see the little lens uh, zoom motor in there. Um, it's just how on earth does it fit in? Oh dear, I think that might be it. Oh dear, I've just broken a little flexible cable. Well, I don't think I'm ever going to recover from that. I mean, you can't take that off, surely, or can you? Oh, yes, you can. It just pulls out. Oh, silly me. I should have pulled that out. Oh, well. Um... Now I had nothing to lose, I became much, much bolder. The screws holding the lens unit in place were near the back of the camera, so I decided the LCD screen would have to come off. This was fiddly, but underneath the screen I could now see the lens unit, so I felt I was making progress. The screws holding the lens unit in place were much, much tighter. I didn't have exactly the right size crosshead screwdriver, and at first I couldn't undo them at all. I eventually resorted to my watchmaker's screwdrivers. These only have flat heads, but the steel is much, much harder. The screws did eventually come loose. It took all my strength, amazing, for such tiny little screws. So now what's going to come? The flash unit is free. If only I'd had a problem with the flash unit, not the camera. But, but, oh no, the camera unit is feeling quite free. But, uh, you know. Still. Oh, I see. Wait a moment. I think it's now held in by its various circuits. I am going to have to take the whole metal plate off, as far as I can see, because the. I don't see how else I'm going to get to. Let's get this the right way up. 
it's these two fiddly connectors that go in somewhere under there. I think what I have to do here, I just got a looked at a YouTube video of replacing the screen, is that this little there's the, the wires are held in by a what's called a retention thing. Oh there it is, it just snapped up. So now, with a bit of luck, there's my screen gone. Right, so now at least I can maybe can I no, you see, this is more di difficult than replacing the screen. You've got to get a lot deeper into the... Oh, yes, there we go. Mind you, it's all got to get back again. Uh, what's going on around here? Something... Oh, that's another... That's for the speaker. OK, so now I really am sort of getting there. I think that this, this these are the two things that are keeping my... I'm just going to have to pull up and see... Yes, that just pulls up. And maybe this one too? It was pretty similar. Yep, that one too. Oh wow! And now we're out. Well, goodbye, bad lens. Hello, nice lens. Um, well, that was surprisingly slick. Now all we have to do is put it back together again, which could be virtually impossible, but. No harm in trying. Reassembling it all was actually much, much easier and quicker. Parts just seemed to effortlessly snap back into place. Just a sort of different bit of a little bit of wobbling. Ah, I'm glad that didn't go in because I've got to get the hinge on, haven't I? And I think that was just a snap thing. Yep. Look at that. Go. Apart from the broken cable, you wouldn't know that. Well, it wasn't a hundred percent successful. I severed the one cable, but um, that was only going to this ring, so it's just possible it might work. Um, and I have a little tiny screw left over, so it probably isn't as rigid as it should be inside. Anyway, this is the moment of truth. We'll put back the card. Oh, wrong place. <laughs> uh, and now we'll put back the battery. And then we'll switch on and see what it... Oh dear, this is a bad moment. Is it going to do its thing? Oh yes! Yes, it came on. So now I'm going to take a photo. Hey, wow! It works! So, apart from the ring not working, that was pretty successful.